With IMF's 2018 growth forecast of 8.5%, Ethiopia remains likely to be the fastest growing economy in the African continent. The country has a vision to build a modern and inclusive economy supported by aggressive government and private sector investment on mainly infrastructure development. Last year, the country rose above Kenya to become East Africa's largest economy. We had a comprehensive development plan. Uh, we have medium-term development framework. And the uh, government has been investing particularly on infrastructure massively, as well as in human development, as well as on institution building. As a result of those vision, strategy, and, and transformative approach to development, which is very comprehensive, uh, and as a result of investment we have been making on these three areas I mentioned, uh, Ethiopia has been achieving double-digit growth for the last 12 years. This is Addis Ababa's business district in the making. Several private and state-owned banks are building their head offices with price tags running into the hundreds of millions of dollars. Developments such as these are seen as a huge contributor to the country's quickening growth. Addis is a living example for the boom of this economic activity of our country. And this is a testimony that's being given by not only the leaders of the city, but the, uh, those individuals who are living in the city. And as our city is uh, a, I mean a seat for the African Union, and our city is becoming an international city for the conference tourism, those tourists that come to Addis in a frequent manner say that, what's happening to the city? And this construction was not here before a year or two. And they witnessed that uh, we are waking up from the deep sleep that we have in for hundreds of years. But the impressive growth is not lifting people out of poverty fast enough. Authorities say the proper economic policy may be slow, but it is uh, delivering. The amount of budget that we invested in housing development so far is around 50 billion. Uh, even our uh, great renaissance dam is going to cost us about 80 billion per. And the amount of uh, money that we invested as a city government in the house construction is uh, around 50 billion. And it's going to continue in that way. It's not going to end because we have large number of individuals who are seeking for houses in the city. Focus shifts to policies introduced by the new Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. And so far, opinion points to a sustained fast economic growth trajectory. By attracting foreign direct investment by transforming domestic businesses to become more productively engaged in various sectors of the economy and by complementing the two and by broadening public participation in the overall development process uh, we expect our growth momentum will be broadened and sustained. Ethiopia is a country of more than a hundred million people and is intent on capitalizing on the huge population to drive economic growth. The country is working on transformation from depending on traditional agriculture to a labor intensive industrial economy. It hopes to become a middle income economy by 2025. Economic analysts, however, warn that the country must manage rising debt, fighting corruption and work towards fair distribution of wealth. Group Tala CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.